coming from the Shield Heli Carrier. Uh, <laughs> I'm one of your ever love war hosts, Brian Harmer Barnes. I'm joined as always by Ian Harmer. Hey, we've got loads of stuff to play with. Ah, tremendous amount, actually. Five yeah. packs of uh, Crisis Protocol. George is one of our favourite games. Yeah, and we're yeah. both huge Marvel it's fans. It's just a, well. a, a massive kind of release, isn't it? Really? Yeah. yeah, it was just kind of plopped out. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to run through uh, what we've got for you guys here. And the first pack we've got is the uh, Luke Cage and Iron Fist pack. Obviously, street level heroes. Mm -hmm. um, but also, should be quite punchy, I'm hoping. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, they are known characters, aren't they? Um, that's what I oh, yeah, It's not like Sin and Viper, everyone just went. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the uh, the Iron Fist looks like a, a, a model maker's nightmare, but yeah, there you well, go. We'll find out, yeah. we? um, but uh, I've got yeah, I've got. We got, we got Luke Cage. Luke Cage. The castings, as usual, are fantastic. Okay, Luke Cage. He has six hit points. Uh, speed medium, size two, cost three. It physical defense four. I just thought it'd be higher. Uh, energy Defense 3, Magic Defense 3. He's got two physical attacks. The first one is Power Man Punch, which is range 2, 5 dice, cost 0. After his attack is resolved, his character gains power equal to the damage dealt. If you pull off two wild results in your dice roll, you can also trigger Stagger. Okay, that's good. Defensive-wise, it doesn't sound too shoddy. It's got all elements covered there. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, a little bit of everything. Yeah. Uh, his other physical attack is Sweet Christmas, which is uh, range <laughs> three, seven dice, cost four points to be able to trigger. Um, if you throw a wild, then you can also trigger Throw, which is after this attack is resolved. If the target character is size three or less, it may be thrown short range. Okay, he also has uh, a superpower in Street Fighter which costs two. Uh, choose an interactive terrain feature of size two or less within range two and throw it short range. Uh, this superpower can only be used once per turn, which puts him up a, with the She-Hulk in terms of... Yeah, well he is... Can't throw it as big or as far, Yeah, he's, he's... He's a tough guy. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't necessarily put him on the same strength band as She-Hulk. Oh no, uh, no, that would be, that would be yeah. a disaster. Yeah. Um, he has a reactive power which is too dangerous to ignore, or cost two. When an enemy character within range two of this character targets another allied character with an attack, this character may use this superpower. This character becomes the target of the attack regardless of range and line of, line of sight. Hmm. So he can just throw himself in the way. Good, uh, the, the car seems really lovely. Or yeah. The, the, yeah, uh, he, always on, unbreakable skin, good. When this character would suffer damage from any enemy effect, reduce the amount suffered by one to a minimum of one. Good. I was kind of hoping for more, because that's kind of his main power. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, he also has immu he's also immune to bleed, which is something. Uh, no significant difference when he... Uh, his second voyage has got five hit points, but that seems to be the only real difference. Okay. Yeah, not an overly busy card, is it? Okay, and we also have Iron Fist, real name Danny Rand, who is five hit points, speed medium, size two, cost three. That's quite cheap. Uh, physical defense three, energy defense three, magic defense three. He has an energy attack, cheese strike, range two, five dice, cost zero. All like cheese. After his attack is resolved, his character gains power equal to the damage dealt. If you're on a wild, it triggers stun which is uh, the effect would cause the character to gain more than one power and only gains one power instead. Okay. Uh, physical yeah. attack, flying kick, range three, four dice, cost zero. After this attack is resolved, this character gains one power. After this attack is resolved, place this character within range one of the target. So you can kind of loop Kang across the board. Yeah, no. So uh, that's, 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 that's do... two cost zero attacks he's got though. And two cost zero attacks, both of which can generate power from causing damage. Yeah, and I do like that one, it's, it's stopping them from mm. recovering, yeah. Uh, and he's got a third attack, energy attack, the Iron Fist, range two, nine dice, cost eight. Mm. Before damage right, is yeah. dealt, other enemy characters within range three of the target character suffer one point of damage. That sounds good. Yeah. 
So you guys, that's how you teach energy explosion. <laughs> uh, before damage is dealt, if the target character has an activated token, it gains the stagger special edition, uh, condition and is thrown short range away from this character. If a target character does not have an activated token, it gains an activated token. So if you haven't used him that turn, he loses his turn. Oh, okay. So you've got to keep pushing, really. Well, if you, yeah, you go for, so when you pick a target, if you haven't activated that turn, yeah, then they just get a done marker on them. Good. And knocked away, and obviously you know, nine dice worth of attack. He's going to explode things. Uh, always on, immortal weapon. During the power phase, this character gains an additional power token. Uh, always on, master martial artist. When this character is defending against a physical or energy attack, targeting it from within range 3, Iron Fist adds blanks to its defence roll to its total success. E! Sounds hard. Yeah, I wasn't expecting a big card for him. No, or, but no? He's, I, I think he's one of those, if you manage the power properly, he's going to be an absolute tank. Well, yeah, you're definitely going to be able to use him because he's like, like zero cost attacks there, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, I and mean, it also comes with uh, three team tactics cards, two of which are wild, and this one which is locked to Luke Cage and Iron Fist. So that one is Heroes for Hire, unaffiliated reactive. When an allied character is targeted by an attack and is within range three of an allied Luke Cage and or an allied Iron Fist, the allied character may spend two power to play this card. Place an allied Luke Cage or Iron Fist that was in range 3 of the allied character within range 1 of the allied character. The placed character becomes the target of the attack. After the attack is resolved, if the placed character is not dazed and the attacking character is size 3 or less, the placed character may throw the attacking character a low short range. Oh, that says a real good like, Luke Cage. Yeah. Uh, good defence thing. Yeah. Kuhn Loon training. Unaffiliated, reactive, when an allied character is attacking or defending, before the calculate success or failure step, at the end of a modified dice step of the attack, it may spend four power to play this card. Reroll all of the attack dice. Team reroll. Uh, kick them while they're down. Unaffiliated, active, any character may spend two power to play this card. Choose an enemy character. When targeting the chosen character with an attack this round, allied character may re-roll one attack dice for each special condition the chosen character has. Nice. I like them. Yes, very much. Yeah. I uh, do like that, the idea of like Luke Cage dodging in front of people or yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. I like that two power to completely re-roll your attack roll. Yes, indeed. Okay, we've got Cable and Domino, two of the X-Force. Cool. Um, which I'm excited about, I like that. Yeah, all the, the, the two Big main guns. protagonists. Very, 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 very 90s characters. Yeah. Lots of, lots of pouches. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you can spot the 90s. Loads of pouches, but pouches don't make sense. Yeah. Okay, so who have we got first? Big dude. Okay, we've got Cable, real name, Nathan Summers. Is he Cyclops' son? I think so. Yeah, yeah no, he is. That's not... <laughs> not that's he's now canon. Uh, he's got hit, uh, six hit points. He seems to have a lot of guns. Yes. Uh, speed small, height two, five cost to put in your force. Physical defence three, energy defence three, magic defence four. Blimey, okay. Okay, um... Energy attack, plasma rifle, range 5, 5 dice cost 0. After this attack is resolved, this character gains power equal to the damage dealt. Uh, if you trigger a roll of wild, it also triggers incinerate. After this attack is resolved, the target character gains the incinerate special condition, which is this character removes 1 die from defense rolls. He also has a magic attack, a Scarnis Sun, which is area attack 2. Seven dice cost six for each attack that deals damage after the attack is resolved. Remove one damage from this character. I think there might be a type of each attack that deals damage after the attack is I, resolved. I'm sorry, I not sh didn't realize he was a magic, magic user before, so that's news to me. Yeah, I just seen an odd one for each attack that deals damage. I suspect it might be for each dice that deals damage, yeah. yeah. Um, but I'll, I'll check in the writer for that. It just seems an odd phrase, oh, phrase yeah. yeah. Uh, 
Trey Whitworks, affiliation X-Force, he can lead an X-Force team. Uh, each allied character may re-roll one die in their attack rolls once per turn, that would be a team ability. Wow, okay. If you build an X-Force team, obviously. Uh, currently available... Deadpool, I think. Yeah, so to have an X-Force team, at least 50% of your characters are left to be on this list. Mm -hmm. Which is Cable, Colossus, Deadpool, Domino, Sabretooth, Wolverine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's give Sabretooth and Wolverine a chance to re-roll. Yeah, yeah. Return. Yeah, that's what you need. Um, <laughs> superpower, body slide by one. Place this character within range two of its current position. This superpower can only be used once per turn. Uh, Amiga level threat, cost X. This character may spend one to four power when paying the cost of this superpower. Choose an interactive terrain feature within range three and with a size equal to or less than the power spent to use this superpower. Throw the chosen terrain feature medium range. This superpower can be used only once per turn. Get more and more people chucking terrain around. Do you think the DC players are laughing at us? <laughs> Because of a cross pro, can we throw a train? Oh, I need a superpower to do it. The DC game, can I throw a train? Yes! Yes, yes you, you can! can throw this Everyone building. can throw trains! <laughs> uh, reactive, telekinetic shield, cost two. When this character or an allied character within range three, this character is targeted by an attack. Why, why do they keep doing this character, this character, this character? Just say, when Cable or an allied character in range three, well, this is true, Cable yeah. is targeted by an attack. Cable may use a superpower. It actually takes up less space if you do that. May use his superpower. Add two dice to Cable's defence roll against this attack. <laughs> it's that easy. Yeah. Um, always on. Techno organic virus suppression. During the power phase, Cable gains one additional power. Why are you saying this character again and again? It's, mm. it's, it's Cable's reference card. It's not like it's a not generic like other, other person card. can use it's it. Not yeah. back. No, cables can't. Right, so during the power phase, cable gains one additional power. He is also immune to poison, which makes sense because of the virus suppression he's got. Mm -hmm. So, um, Nathan Summers, when he was a baby, was infected with a legacy virus, which was a human release virus to eradicate mutants. And the only way of keeping him alive was to send him into the future, where they developed a cure. And when he came back, he was older than Cyclops was. Did he fall into the vat? Yeah, he fell into the cauldron when he was a baby. <laughs> Okay, Domino, real name Nina Thurman, uh, five hit points, speed medium, size two, cost three, physical defense three, energy defense three, magic defense three. Physical attack, automatic pistols, uh, range three, four dice, cost zero. After this attack is resolved, Domino gains one power. Uh, if you roll a critical hit, it also triggers rapid fire. After his attack is resolved, this character may make one additional of this character. After his attack is resolved, <laughs> Domino may make one additional automatic pistol attack. The additional attack must target the original target character. This addition does not have the rapid fire special rule. So he can't trigger it a second time. Right, okay. Uh, energy attack, grenade bounce. Range four, four dice cost one. This attack ignores line of sight and the defending character does not benefit from cover. Incinerate. After his attack is resolved, the target character gains the incinerate special condition. Be so which is the character removes yeah. one die from defence rolls. If you roll a wild, it also triggers explosive. Before damage is dealt, other enemy characters within range two of the target character suffer one point of damage. Energy attack, lucky shot. Range three, six dice cost three. Uh, the target character does not gain power for damage dealt by this attack. If you roll a wild, it also triggers stun. After this attack is resolved, the target character enters a stun special condition, which is if an effect would cause the character to gain more than one power, it only gains one power instead. Right, okay. Uh, superpower, probability manipulation. After Domino rolls attack, defense, or dodge dice, but before the resolve critical step, Domino may spend any amount of power to use this superpower. For each power point spent, choose one skull dice to treat as a critical hit for the remainder of the attack. Uh, always on. Things tend to go my way. When this character is attacking or defending, enemy characters do not roll additional dice for critical hit results in their attack or defence rolls. It might be my phone, it's a cool sound. Yeah. Hey, we've got an extra scenario as well. Oh, nice. Which is a secure scenario. Sword establishes base on Moon's blue area. Place three consoles, shown on map C. Uh, the player controlling the most console scores three victory points during the cleanup phase. 
Interact console. If no enemy characters are contesting the console, you are now controlling the console. If one or more enemy characters are contesting the console, roll a dice. If the result is a crit, wild or hit, you are now controlling the console. If a player, con player controls more consoles during the power phase than their opponent, they control the security systems of base and may choose an enemy character. The chosen character is pushed short range. Uh, cat and Mouse, X-Force, reactive. After all characters have been deployed, an X-Force character may play this card. Place this character within range 2 of its current position. This character cannot make more than one move action during its next activation. So, Recon Intel, the price is broken. Uh, dirty Work, X-Force, active. An allied X-Force character may spend 3 power to play this card. Mark the enemy character with the highest threat value of a target token. If the marked character is dazed or KO'd this round by an allied X-Force character, all allied X-Force characters gain 2 power. If there is a tie for the highest threat value, choose one of the tied characters to receive the target token. Warpath, unaffiliated reactive. After oh, an attack picture. that damaged an allied character, the artwork on this card is yeah, amazing. It's really good. Across the board, they're all amazing. Uh, after an attack that damaged an allied character is resolved, the damaged character may spend one power to play this card. This character may advance short range towards the attacking character. Recalibration Matrix, unaffiliated, reactive. When an allied character is attacking or defending, before the calculate success or failure step, at the end of a modified dice step of the attack, it may spend three power to play this card. The attacking and defending characters re-roll all of their attack and defense dice. Okay, we've got the Black Cat and Amazing Spider-Man pack. So up first is Black Cat. Real name Felicia Hardy. Five hit points, speed long, size two. Cost 3, Physical Defense 3, Energy Defense 3, Magic Defense 3. Uh, physical Attack Cat Claws, range 2, 4 dice, cost 0. After this attack is resolved, this character gains power equal to the damage dealt. If you're on a wild, then you also trigger Pierce. Change one of the defending characters, crit, wild, or block results to a blank. It's quite an ingenious pose. Yeah? Yeah. Or is it she's... Flipping backwards. She's flipping backwards, yeah, yeah it's really good. Uh, physical attack, troublemaker, range 3, 6 dice, cost 2. If this attack would deal 1 or more damage, it deals 1 damage instead. After this attack is resolved, the target character gains the stagger special condition, uh, which is when this character activates the first action, must be a shake action. The shake action must remove the stagger special condition. If you're on a wild, you also get elusive. After this character's attack is resolved, this character may advance short range. So it's just a. Um, can only do one point of damage. But it can, it's basically them cumbers them. You know, yeah. They're using. Yeah, it's. Spending like points. Yeah. Capacitate, yeah. yeah. Uh, superpower grappling hook cost two. Place this character in range two of its current position. This superpower can be used only once per turn. And if you play it like we play the Batman game, it means you're going to sit in a merry-go-round. <laughs> uh, Superpower Master Cat Burglar. Choose an enemy character within range one of this character. Move one asset or civilian token the chosen character is holding to Black Cat. Black Cat is now holding that token. Black Cat may not hold more tokens than Crisis specifies. You can just yoink. Yes. Yeah. Uh, always on, bad luck. Characters cannot modify their attack dice when targeting Black Cat with attacks. That's good we're dealing with her probability control would make it different from Domino's as well. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, always on, stealth. Characters must be within range 3 of Black Cat to target her with attacks. Yeah, I didn't ex expect her to be sort of overloaded with skills, but she's still kind of lithe and mm. it's almost like encumbering them to say so they've got a shape before they. Uh, mm. Attack. On to Spidey. This is amazing. He is. He's amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, part, I yeah. mean the the whole the uh, castle or yeah, molding. You described all the victims as uncanny, and all the Hulk models as incredible. <laughs> this is just your thing. Uh, speed. Oh, sorry. It's hit point six. Speed long. Size two. Cost five. Physical defense four. Energy defense four. Magic defense three. Uh, physical attack, Spider Strike, range 3, 5 dice, cost 0. After this attack is resolved, this character gains power equal to the damage dealt. 
If you roll a is that crit and a wild or a crit or a wild, I'm not 100% sure, uh, triggers momentum. Choose another enemy character within range 2 of the target character. Place this character within range 1 of the chosen character. The chosen character suffers a collision as if some amazing Spider Man were thrown into them. Mate, it, it. it's, it's sort of like a radar or uh, radio mast. Radio mast is yeah. Sort of so you can, as far as what it's basically, it's you drop kick people. That's a wrestling drop kick, not a football drop kick. <laughs> uh, physical attack, whatever a spider can. Range 2, 8 dice, cost 5. After this attack is resolved, Amazing Spider Man may advance medium range. If you roll a wild, it also triggers catch. After this attack is resolved, you may choose an interactive terrain feature of size 2 or less and with range 3 of Amazing Spider-Man and destroy it. The target character suffers a collision as if the terrain were thrown into them. They really are going for the terrain this way. Yes, they? they are. It seems to be... Oh, we haven't really yeah. uh, looked at that yet. So. Yeah. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man may lead a Web Warriors affiliation team which is a friendly neighbourhood spider team. Once per turn, during an allied character's activation, it may pay one power and choose an enemy character within range two. The chosen character gains the slow special condition, which is this character may can only use for short movement tool while advancing. If a chosen character already had the slow special condition, place it within range one of its current position and remove the slow special condition. Let's whip them. Yeah. 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 Nice. So the current models in the Web Warriors affiliation you used to preserve at least half your team would have to be from this list, which is uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Daredevil, Ghost Spider, Spider-Man Peter Parker or Venom. Uh, superpower Web Swing. Uh, cost 2, place Amazing Spider-Man within range 3 of its current position. The next time it makes a spider strike attack, which is the dropkick one, Add two dice to the attack roll. This super pair can only be used once per turn. <laughs> uh, reactive. Witty banter. Cost one. When an enemy character within range three of Amazing Spider-Man is attacking an allied character, Amazing Spider-Man may use this superpower during the modify opponent's dice step of the attack. You may re-roll one die in their attack roll. Uh, always on. A mastered spider sense. Amazing Spider-Man may re-roll any number of its defense or dodge dice. Always on. Wall crawler. You surprise me. Team Tactics cards. We have Aunt May's Wheat Cakes. Web Warriors. <laughs> Any number of Web Warriors characters may spend one power to play this card. Characters that spend power remove the slow special condition and remove one point of damage. Oh, uh -huh. see, I thought it was going to be an Aunt May. Oh, uh -huh. well, she'll, she'll turn up one day. Uh, Spider Tracker. Web Warriors. Reactive. After an enemy character ends a move action within range four of an allied Web Warriors character, that allied character may spend two power to play this card. This character may advance short range. The cat and the spider, unaffiliated, active. If Peter Parker is within range two of an allied black cat, both characters may spend one power each to play this card. Throw the allied black cat medium. Black cat does not suffer collision damage during this throw. After the throw is resolved, black cat may immediately interact with any number of objective tokens without spending power. You what? throw, you launch black cat. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've seen that in comics. Not necessarily black yeah. cat, but yeah, fastball special. Yeah. Again, they have they've they have affiliated them in the box, haven't they? So. Yeah, really definitely. Good. Yeah, they they were an item for a while mm. as well. So. How's it go? Okay, so this is the lizard and craven the hunter set. I'm excited. Uh, so first we've got Craven the Hunter, real name Sergei Nikolovich Kravinov. It's five hit points, speed medium, size two, it costs three, physical defence three, energy defence three, magic defence three. Uh, so similar to cable then. Yeah. yeah. Physical attack, cookery strike. Range two, five dice, cost zero. You like cookery. I think we do. After his attack is resolved, his character gains one power. Uh, after his attack is resolved, Craven the Hunter gains the Bleed special condition. Uh, if you trigger a wild, it also gets Elusive. After his attack is resolved, Craven the Hunter may advance short range. That's a cool pose, actually. Yeah. Uh, physical attack, Spear Thrust. Range 3, cost f uh, dice 4, cost 0. After his attack is resolved, Craven the Hunter gains power equal to the damage dealt. If Craven the Hunter has already activated, has already attacked the target character during its activation this turn with a Kukri Strike attack, add three dice to this attack roll. 
Cool. If Craven the Hunter has advanced or been placed during its activation turn, after this attack is resolved, it may advance medium range. Uh, superpower Corn of the Beast cost two. Choose an enemy character within range three of Craven until the end of its next activation. Each time the chosen character advances or climbs, it suffers one point of damage. If a chosen character has the Wall Crawler superpower, it loses the Wall Crawler superpower until the end of its next well, that's activation. That's a bit aimed, isn't it? That's aimed at somebody, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, superpower Expert Tracker cost three. Choose an enemy character. Allied characters roll one additional attack dice when targeting the chosen character with attacks this round. Uh, always on, Elixir of Calypso. This character may re-roll one die in its attack or defense rolls. This is the one you're excited about, though, isn't it? Well, we all like Killer Croc. <laughs> he does look fantastic. He does. Okay, up next is a Lizard, real name Curtis Connors. Six hit points, move medium, Height 3, cost 3, physical defence 4, energy defence 3, magic defence 3. Uh, physical attack, tail whip. Range 3, 4 dice, cost 0. After this attack is resolved, lizard gains power equal to the damage dealt. If you roll a wild, it also triggers push. If the target character is size 3 or less, before damage is dealt, it may be pushed away from lizard's short range. Uh, physical attack, cold blooded. Uh, range 2, 7 dice, cost 3. If this attack deals damage, after this attack is resolved, the target character gains the bleed and slow special conditions. Uh, superpower Biochemical Breakthrough, cost 3. Choose an interactive terrain feature or an enemy character, both of size 3 or less and within range 2, and throw it short range. This superpower can be used only once per turn. Oh, more throws coming in. Yeah. Uh, always on, thick hide. When this character would suffer damage from an enemy attack, reduce the amount suffered by one to a minimum of one. Uh, he also has always on, healing factor one, which is at the end of this character's activation, it may, may remove one damage from itself and wall crawler. Short card, but I think he's here to come. I imagined it to be uh, a larger card. There's more, more. Yeah. He's more just, rules, but it's just here to punch things. Compact and punchy, yeah. 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 Does look excellent, the actual moulding. Mm. Okay, we've got some team tactics cards as well. We've got Sinister Traps, Spider Foes, Reactive. Any allied character may play this card during the first power phase. The Spider Foes team at the moment is Green Goblin, Carnage, Doctor Octopus, Kingpin, Mysterio, and Venom. Choose an objective token. The first time a character ends a movement within range 2 of that objective token, roll 5 dice. The moving character suffers 1 damage for each crit, wild or hit result in the roll. If a character suffered damage, it is pushed short range. A character's opponent resolves this push. Fearful Symmetry, unaffiliated. Reactive. When Craven the Hunter KOs an enemy Peter Parker, if there is no Peter Parker in your squad, Craven the Hunter may play this card. Craven the Hunter transforms into Spider-Man Peter Parker. Replace Craven the Hunter's stat card with Spider-Man Peter Parker's stat card with its healthy side up. Move all damage tokens, power, special conditions, objective tokens and effects from Craven the Hunter to Spider-Man Peter Parker. Spider-Man Peter Parker is now part of your squad. So you basically... You him. Dark takes Peter Parker. Takes yeah. over Spider-Man, yeah. Uh, Neogenetic Recombinator. It's a type of interocitor if you're interested. Uh, spider Foes Active. Two allied Spider Foes characters within range three of each other may each play this card. One of the characters that played this card may suffer up to three damage. Remove damage from the other character that played this card equal to the damage suffered. Monkey Brain is Lizard Home. During, <laughs> active, during Lizard's activation, he may spend three power to play this card. Lizard may use the attack listed above once per activation. Physical attack, Lizard Brain. Area two, five dice, cost zero. After each attack is resolved, the target character is pushed away from this character short range. Oh, good picture as well. Yes, yeah, so a special stats on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You pleased with those ones? Yeah, very much. I expected yeah. a bigger card for Lizard, but at the same time. Well, I, I expected a longer lot of rules. Yeah, but at the same time, I quite like that he's quite Lizard Brain and Basic. Hmm. Okay, we've got Mysterio and Carnage, because that's how alphabetical order works at Atomic Mass Games. <laughs> okay, up first, we've got Carnage, who is 7 hit points, medium speed, size 2, 
cost 4, physical defence 5, energy defence 1, magic defence 1. Uh, he's got physical attacks, symbiote tendrils, range 3, 5 dice cost 0. After this attack is resolved, carnage gains power equal to the damage dealt. Fantastic. After this attack is resolved, this target character gains the bleed special condition. Uh, physical attack, maximum carnage. Area 2, 7 dice cost 5. After each attack is resolved, the target character gains the bleed special condition. Wild and hit trigger rampage. After his attack is resolved, deal one damage to each other enemy character within range two of um, carnage. The moulding is in a, like a cage because it's, it's so delicate. Yeah. yeah. Uh, superpower, Sadistic Glee, cost two, which is my favourite TV show the last 20 years. Uh, during the next attack action made by Carnage this turn, add two dice to its attack rolls. After each attack is resolved, if the attack contains any crit fail results, Carnage suffers one damage. The super bear can be used only once per turn. Uh, reactive, paint the town red, cost three. If Carnage dazes or KOs an enemy character with an attack during its activation, the Carnage may use this superpower. After the attack is resolved, this character advances short range, removes all damage from itself, and then makes a symbiote tendrils attack. This superpower can be used only once per turn. That sounds horrible. It, 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 I'll, I'll just, I'll, wow, well, I mean. All damage from it. So it takes seven hits to put him down anyway. <laughs> it takes six. And you know, it can wipe him out. It takes six hits, chins, <laughs> chins Black Widow, and then heals. Always on, arch nemesis, Eddie Brock. When attacking Eddie Brock, this character may modify or re-roll crit fail results and may re-roll any number of attack dice. At the start of Carnage's activation, if there is a non-dazed enemy Eddie Brock within range 3 of this character, Carnage's first action must be an attack action targeting the Eddie Brock if possible. Well, wow. okay. Uh, always on, symbiotic serial killer. When this character is attacking, the defending character does not add dice to its defence roll for critical results. Always on, wall crawler. Spectacular. We thought it would be an amazing card, but that's really quite something. So, he's going to be hard to take off the mountain, isn't he? Well, you need Venom, obviously, don't you? Yeah, but he'll attack Eddie Brock, so... Yeah. I think Eddie might be able to put him down. But he will naturally a target him, so in yeah. some way it does draw fire, I suppose. But yeah. He sounds awesome. I mean, these people do it to me all the time. The, um, the models are amazing. Yeah. And then they keep the doing extra, something extra else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a... I mean, because it's so easy done this simply. It's just like... Uh, yeah. A few tendrils flying up from his back and having him standing. But yeah, they, they, they've really yeah, gone for it. This game's... It's constantly improving. Yeah, yeah but the so artistry is amazing. We just the course set, we're like, yeah, it's good, it's about as good as a DC game, I think yeah. I prefer the DC game, and then we, it seems like with each successive release, this game has just kept evolving in every way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, up next is Mysterio, real name Quentin Beck, six hit points, speed short. He's got no two. nose. No, he's got no nose. No terrible. nose. He smells terrible. It's cost three, physical defense one, energy defense one, magic defense five. Uh, magic attack, hypnosis gas, range three, four dice cost zero. After this attack is resolved, Mysterio gains power equal to the damage dealt. If this attack deals damage, after this attack is resolved, Mysterio may advance the target character short range. Magic attack, curtain call, range two, six dice cost four. If this attack deals damage, and if the target character is size 2 or less, after this attack is resolved, it may be thrown short. If you roll a wild, it also triggers the stagger special condition. Which is... When the character activates his first action, it's got to shake it off. Yeah. You remember your goodness. <laughs> uh, reaction, tricks and traps, cost 3. When an enemy character ends a movement within range 3 of this character, Mysterio may use this superpower. Roll four dice. The enemy character suffers one damage for each critical hit and wild rolled. If this superpower deals at least one point of damage, Mysterio may advance short range. Uh, always on, Master of Illusions. 
Whenever a Mysterio rolls dice, after the effect is resolved, it gains one power if it rolled at least one blank. Additionally, this character uses its magic defence when making a dodge roll. Always on, smoke and mirrors. When an enemy character targets Mysterio with an attack, this character may use its magic defence regardless of the attack's type, unless the attacking character pays two power. And his magic defence is five dice. Amazing. But his physical and energy is one, so the heroes have to kind of pay the power to fight through the illusions. Yes, they got to try and get to him. Yeah. Uh, always on, stealth. Characters must be within range three of this character to target it with attacks. Always on, flight. And we've got some team tactics cards as well. Oh, good. So they, again, they've, they've linked these guys together. Or just... Um, no, but they're Sinister Syndicate, the I guess. Sinister Syndicate, if, yeah. If Carnage well. ever is with anyone. Uh, Carnage rules, unaffiliated, reactive. Carnage may spend four power during his activation to play this card. Choose an enemy character within range four of Carnage. Advance the chosen character short distance towards Carnage. After the advance, Carnage may make a symbiote tendrils attack targeting the chosen character. Basically, scorpions get over here. <laughs> uh, there will be Carnage, unaffiliated, active. Carnage may spend any number of power to play this card. Choose one enemy character within range 3 of Carnage for each power spent. The chosen character is gain the Root special condition, which means the character must spend one power before using a superpower or reactive superpower. The Grand Illusion, unaffiliated, active. Mysterio may spend four power to play this card. Until the end of a cleanup phase, when an enemy character makes an attack, defense, or dodge roll within range three of Mysterio, it does not add dice to the roll for critical hit results, and Mysterio changes all of its crit hit results into crit failure results. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's really good. I think they've modeled Mysterio brilliantly. Well, the whole kind of mission, you know, whole everything illusionary. There, you just plays like Mysterio, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, for all our complaints that they're not doing much with Lizard, I think they've got above and beyond with Mysterio. Well, I think Hulk, Lizard so is, is just is like a puncher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's not. Yeah, Hulk card, Hulk's card isn't exactly loaded. No, it's not. No. But Mysterio and Carnage, everything about those cards is but, spot on. Yeah, Lizard is, yeah, I suppose he's, he's, he's one of the, the rock hard ones of Spider against Spider Man, isn't he? So. Yes. Awesome. Cool. Okay, Excellent. Guys, set. We hope you enjoyed this little supply drop that's come by on the Shield Heli Carrier. We'll get these punched together, clipped together, painted, and ready for a demo video as soon as is physically possible. Um, if you want to see what's happening on the show, the best place to find us is on emotionally14.com. What's emotionally14? It's a website containing uh, superheroes, tabletop gaming, Mysterio, uh, unboxing videos, all the things that you love can be found at emotionally14.com and you can find them on all social media channels at emotionally14. And thanks to our friends at There Will Be Games for assisting in promotion of our shows. Uh, if you want to follow the show itself, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Bring On The Bad Guys. Uh, if you want to follow me, you can find me on all social media channels at RealBradHB. Uh, Ian, where can people find uh, you? I'm on Instagram, I'm great open. Awesome. Okay, thanks so much, guys. We'll be back soon with some more superhero gaming. Bye. Good. Bye.